Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to find a way of breathing that feels really good. All the way in, all the way out. Now, if the practice stopped here, you could criticize it. There's that English expression, happy as a clam. The idea being that the clams are perfectly content right where they are. But then what are they content with? They're content with mud and sand. It's nothing to aspire to. In other words, we're not just finding little pleasures here and there and contenting ourselves with them. We're getting the mind to settle down because we can see it clearly when it's settled down. And you begin to see that the suffering it creates for itself is the big problem in life. The suffering that comes from outside, the pains that come from outside, are nothing compared with the sufferings that we inflict on ourselves. And we want to see why. Where does it happen? How does it happen? How can we put an end to it? And that leads to a happiness that's a lot greater than a clams, that's for sure. So we're sitting under the tree, and Stephen Colbert is where it's worth wrapping ourselves in a cloth, sitting under a tree and breathing. But we're not going to stop right there. We're learning how to get the mind in a good place like this so that we can then use it, understand it. Because there are deeper happinesses, deeper pleasures that nothing in the world can compare to. So this is a way station. It is part of the path. It's not the goal. But in the meantime, learn how to content yourself with what you've got right here. Because when you stay with what feels okay, in this sense, as the mind gets more and more settled, more and more still, the sense of pleasure grows. The sense of well-being grows. At the very least, knowing that you don't have to keep jumping around or preparing to jump around. The mind is all too often like a cat that jumps onto a, a ledge and then immediately tenses up, getting ready for its next leap. As to opposed to a cat who is down on the ground, knows that it doesn't have to worry about leaping anywhere, so it can basically melt into the carpet. Near where you know it, there's nothing that needs to take you away from the breath right now, so it can melt right into the breath. And enjoy this sense of well-being. Even though it's not the goal, the Buddha says, indulge in it, allow yourself to benefit from it. Don't indulge so much that you forget the breath. But hang on to the breath just enough so you can stay solid right here. This way you put yourself in a position where you're coming from a position of strength, coming from a position of well-being. And you're going to be learning a lot about the mind. When they use the word vipassana, it means clear seeing. You're going to be able to see the mind clearly in a way that helps put an end to that tendency that we have to keep creating unnecessary suffering for ourselves. Because the only suffering that weighs down the mind is the unnecessary sort, the necessary stresses of life. Once there's nothing that you add to them, don't weigh the mind down at all. 